How's it going guys? Quick mini build. So as you're probably sick of hearing, I've got no money for this month, but as you're probably sick of seeing, I don't own a tripod. I've just been using this uh, arm. I got this as a gift from my mom and dad a little over 20 years ago. Uh, so it's kind of old, but it works just fine. I've kind of always wanted a gorilla pod, one of those uh, tripods with the flexible limbs so you can like hang it on tree branches or pipes or whatever so you can like mount your camera anywhere. Uh, but I don't really have 30 bucks to shell out just buying one of those things right now. So um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make one for about $5. So let's get to work. So last time I was at Home Depot, I found these 32 inch gear ties. As far as I can tell, it's some kind of wire with a rubber coating, but these are completely perfect because not only are they super Posable, uh, but they're also pretty rigid so they can definitely hold up the weight of a camera and also the rubber coating on it gives it a lot more friction than if you were to just try to use regular wires for this and potentially have your camera slip out of a tree or something like that. You're also going to need one of these little pieces of plywood. This is about an inch by five and a half inches. It'll be about 70 cents at a hobby store. Uh, then you're going to need one of these quarter inch bolts. It's about an inch long. That'll be about 10 cents at Home Depot and then one of these springs is going to be about 25 cents at Home Depot also. That's over six dollars, Eli. Your title was clickbait. I'm unsubbing. Please do. I can only really speak for these little point-and-shoot cameras because I've never had a full-size DSLR or anything bigger than that. Um, but every single one of these little guys that I've ever had has a quarter inch hole in the bottom of it. I don't know if the sizes are going to be different for the bigger cameras, uh, but these quarter inch bolts fit perfectly inside. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay the camera on its back on a table or whatever, and then you're going to put your plywood underneath it like that and use it to mark out exactly where you're going to drill your hole in it. Because I know somebody's going to ask, this is a Canon SX280HS. I got it from Best Buy for, I think it was on sale for like $180 or something. Uh, the price has probably gone down by now because I've had this for probably a little over a year now. Then once you got your dot marked out, you're gonna drill a quarter inch hole in your plywood. Then once your hole is drilled, you're gonna use one of these round files to put notches on both ends of the plywood. Now notches, not to be confused with nachos because cheesy wood have you throwing up like vatos. So take a second, ohms and spot spatos, gatos, so I can tell you all that my name is Jeff. Now twist the gear ties around the notches. Take your bolt, put it through the spring, squish it all the way through, push that through the bottom of the plywood and screw the end of the bolt into the bottom of your camera. And what you're left with is what is supporting the camera right now. So now I can film with my camera hanging from my punching bag if I want to. I can film from this pipe if I want to. I can film from my butt if I want to. But what I'm most excited about is filming from my chest. I've still got a good view of the screen from back here, but I've got my hands completely free to do whatever the heck I want. I can grab this thing, I can grab this thing, I can also grab this thing, I can grab grab my other hand, I could uh, I could turn a doorknob, I could open the door, I could walk outside, um, I could walk around, uh, I could meet new people, um, I could I could meet a meet a girl, we could uh, get married, have kids, I could uh, could live a really happy life. I can do anything. So that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. That's over six dollars, Eli.